Hey everybody, I'm here at Ardovino's Farmer's Market in El Paso, Texas. It's Octavio on my little Texas adventure. I'm with uh, people from Delgado Farms. They are my family. And we are here selling uh, lamb meat. And I'm just gonna take a walk around here and check out what we've got here in the Farmer's Market. All right, see you later. How's it going? All right. Did you make all this yourself? Yeah. Cool. What's your name? Jay. Jay. And what's your uh, what's this? Your leather worker? Yeah. Awesome. Leather crafter. leather crafter. What else do you do? This is pretty awesome. Show me what we've got here. Little multi tool holders. Little front pocket wallets. Got some mason jar cozies. This one has a star. Oh, mason jar cozies. Awesome. What is that? It's a mushroom. It's a mushroom. Uh -huh. You see it in my jar? Kombucha. Alright, here I am still in the farmer's market and I have just found some pretty cool stuff over here. It's um, handmade soaps from Bone Peeler Soaps. And they've got some pretty uh, cool uh, scents, I guess. I was going to call them flavors, but they're not really flavors unless unless you could eat them, unless you were going to eat them, but like, this is soap. So uh, let me uh, leave it to them to explain a little bit more. Check out. Our soaps are made out of vegetable glycerin, so they're safe for sensitive skin. This is a Fruit Loop scent. Fruit Loop now, scented soap. If there was smell of vision you could smell it, but <laughs> we also have Captain Crunch Berries. If, if you, if Seinfeld, do you hear this? They've got all the cereals here. We also have um, the honey oat, which is the, the our take on Cheerios. It's this one. I mean, I'm sorry, it's honey almond. It's got real honey and real almonds in there. Honey nut Cheerios. Yes. There you go. There. Tricks. Tricks. They're not just for kids now. No. They're for now bathing they're and for washing. Bathing your mouth. and washing. Your mouth. Your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> if you've been really naughty, yes. ask your mom to wash your mouth out yes, with so tricks. Oh, cool. Fuzzy navel. So tell me a little bit about this one. Well, this one smells like fuzzy navel. It's got three ingredients at the very most. So it's not, and it, it's not harmful to the skin when we're making it. It's safe for him. All right, so I understand that there's some trade secrets going on here, yes. but explain to me a little bit how the process of making soap goes. Well, we put them together. I think that's about all I can say. But what is what is soap? I mean, for those of us who don't know what soap is, like it's glycerin or what well, is that? these are made from vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin. So there's no animal products in here. We make sure of it. All right. And then, we also have a burger. A burger? Let me yes. tell you. But that one doesn't smell like a burger. It's Sun Your Buns. Hmm. We I, didn't have a burger scent. That one sold. I bet it does. Like, I've heard of bacon scented and burger scented. Maple bacon corn dog? Maple bacon corn dog. Smell it from the side, though. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a bacon beef barbecue Texas Inferno salsa. All right. So. Now tell me a little bit about yourselves. Are you guys friends? Are you yes. guys doing business together? Is this We're a part-time thing? Friends, business. We do this as a hobby. This is mostly fun. We enjoy it. That's awesome. And are you guys from El Paso? Yes. Yes, we're from cool. El Paso. And we also do liquor. That's your thing. Awesome. Here, let me sh put your put your card in front of the camera so I can see what you're... There we go. Up here is our Facebook page, our email, and a phone number. We All have right. over 250 cents, so you can custom order. Cool. We'll deliver. Cool. I'll back. take one. Thank you. Thank you. See Thank you guys you on so YouTube. Much. Bye. Oh. All right, so here I am in downtown El Paso, Texas, at yet another farmer's market. A lot of the, a lot of the people here uh, live locally and grow their food right nearby. Uh, Delgado Farms is about an hour away by car, and they do organically fed goat and lamb meat. And they come to all the farmers markets here in El Paso and sell their wares. Um, but there's a lot of other stuff here to see: artists, artisans, other types of food. And uh, so it's pretty cool, and, and it's packed. A lot of people coming down to do their shopping here. So. Uh, Paso is getting on board, or has gotten on board with the uh, well, farmers market movement. So I'm glad to see that.